Hello everyone. Let's um, provide the solution to this problem. Okay, so we have square root of x plus x being equal to 10 over 9. Trust me, it will be very difficult for you to predict what the answer to this will be. So you have to hold on and then um, follow the steps, right? So the first thing is taking this to the other side. So we have square root of x equal to 10 over 9 minus x. Now square both sides. We are squaring both sides so that x will be alone here. And um, this will cancel this. So we have x to be equal to 10 over 9 minus x multiplied by 10 over 9 minus x. Because of the square here, it means that we should have the same thing in two places. And I want to open the bracket for you all to see. So our x is equal to 10 times 10 is 100. Then 9 times 9 is um, 81. Then minus this times this is 10x over 9. Then minus another 10 over, okay, 10x over 9, then plus x uh, squared. This is what we have. So that if we continue, we are going to have x to be equal to 100 over 81. Then minus putting these two together, what do we have? We're going to have 2. Okay, into, um, how do I call it, 10x over 9, right? We're having two of these, then plus x squared. But then, we can equally open the bracket if we have to. Okay, sure we can open the bracket. So we'll have x to be equal to 100 over 81 minus 20x over 9 then plus x uh, squared. Now, the next target is to clear the fraction by finding the LCM. And the LCM is going to be 81, right? So it will be 81 times x being equal to... Okay, what I'm doing is to multiply everything by the LCM. It will cancel itself from here. So we have 100 minus... 81 will go... You know, 9 will go into 81 to give us 9, so into 20x, then plus 81x squared. Okay, so let's continue. So we have 81x being equal to 100 minus, if I multiply these two, I will have 180x, then plus another 81x squared. Now, what do I do? Arrange this in a better way. So I have it's 1x squared. This will appear minus 180. This is 180x. This becomes negative 81x. Right? What is left? Okay, we have plus 100. And this is equal to 0. Now, what do I do? I think I can, you know, work on this very, very quickly. So we have 81x squared. Then if I put these two together, I'm going to have, um, um, what do I have? I'm going to have 261x. Then plus 100 being equal to 0. Now, what do we do? Sorry, I need to have a sign here. Is this, um, how did I put it? Putting these two together, so here is negative, right? That is negative. Now, let's start with this very quickly. We are going to solve this quadratic equation using the formula method. So our A is 81, our B is 261. Okay, and then our C is 100. Okay, instead of waiting to think for the factors, 
it's better you solve this using the formula method. So our x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And the whole of this is over 2a. Now let's substitute. We have x to be equal to, by the way, b is negative 261. So we have um, negative negative 261 plus this plus or minus b is still where's our b b is still giving us negative 261 so we have negative 261 then we square this we square this then we have minus 4 times a is um 81 times c which is 100 so i will get here over 2 times 81 because a is still 81 so here our x will be this into this will give um negative negative will give positive 261 plus or minus square root of i'm going to have this directly i'll have um minus 26 squared then minus 4 times this times this so i'll write the answer directly Okay, so from here we are having um, 35,721. 35,721. If you're wondering how I got that, I square this first, multiply this, then subtract it to get this. And this will be over 2 times 81, which will give us, um, okay, 2 times 1 is 2. Then 2 times 8 will give us some um, 16. And that is giving us 162. Now, what should we do? Let's get the square root of that. So x will be equal to 261 plus or minus. Let's get the square root of what we have here quickly. Okay, square root of 35,721 is 189. And this will be over what? over 162 now what do i do let's split this now so this means that x is equal to 261 plus 189 this will be over 162 or okay sorry i wrote out of sight here we have 261 plus 189 and this will be over okay this is negative now sorry I use positive, here should be negative, and then over 162. Now, I'm going to put this together very quickly. So I have um, 9 plus 1, that will give me 10, 0. Then 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 1 is 15, take 1. Then 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1, we have 450 over 162. 450 over 162, that is the value of x, or on this side, I'm going to subtract that. So from here, I have 72 over 162. Now, let's try to break this down into detail, into lower terms. Okay, so this is, um, these are the values of x, but trust me, it's only one of them that will satisfy. So our x is equal to, I want to pick this because this is the only one that will satisfy 72 over 162, right? If you reduce this to the lowest term, you have from 4 over 9. 72 divided by 18 is 4, and 162 divided by 18 is 9. And by the way, can you still recall the equation square root of x plus x? equal to 10 over 9 so let me put in this value of x and if i do i'm going to have square root of 4 over 9 plus 4 over 9 will this give me 10 over 9 let's go this will be 2 over 3 plus 4 over 9 the lcm is 9 9 divided by 3 is 3 times 2 is 6 9 divided by 9 is 1 times 4, write it here, 
and then this is giving us 10 over 9 and this is what we had on the right hand side of the equation 10 over 9 is what we had on the right hand side so our x to be equal to 4 over over 9 is very satisfying but the first value which is 450 over 162 does not satisfy thank you for watching